For the first time in history, China is allowing foreign nationals to enter the country without the need of obtaining a visa. Foreign short-term visitors from six countries are on this exclusive list, which will be allowed to travel to China for up to 15 days for travel, tourism or business purposes without having a visa. What's the purpose of this measure? Are we going to see huge amounts and masses of foreign visitors and business people going to China now? And why do Chinese visitors to Europe still need to obtain a visa? These and many more things will be covered in today's update. What is your opinion on this piece of news? Are you already packing your stuff and on the way to China for tourism or business purposes? Or it doesn't matter at all to you? Let me know in the comments below. I want to welcome everyone to today's update. My name is Mark and today we're going to talk about a very important issue, the visa to China. If you have ever been to China, if you have ever visited China, then probably you have a Chinese visa in your passport. In one of my previous updates, I have been talking about the necessity and the troubles of getting a visa for China sometimes. All foreign visitors were required to get a Chinese visa prior to entering the country for a very, very long time. Even though there are no extremely strict requirements or it is not particularly hard to get a visa for China, but still there's a lot of planning involved, costs and just a general degree of uncomfort, discomfort of obtaining a visa prior to going anywhere in general. Anyways, I have noticed that this is, or it was, a reason for many foreigners not to consider China as a business or travel destination. Due to several difficulties in the tourism industry, but also with economy in general, China has decided to allow travelers from Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands and Malaysia to enter China without a visa for up to 15 days. Of course, the hope or the plan is to boost the tourism industry, to boost international relations and also, of course, finally the economy. After being on lockdown and isolated from the world basically for more than three years already and still having not fully recovered after opening up. Now, is the step going to lead to a huge wave of travelers and business people going to China? To be honest, I don't think so. For sure, there will be an increase, there will be more people going, there will be more international exchanges and it will gradually become more and more. However, of course, it's going to take some time until this effect comes into place because the people need to adjust their plans, their schedules. It's not like everybody is just going to drop everything and travel to China immediately. So while it's going to bring a mid-term and long-term improvement and effect, I don't expect a huge travel and business wave going to China very soon. Of course, for people coming from these lucky countries, this is very good news. Not so much for Chinese travelers though. They still require a visa when entering Germany or any other country in the European Union. A lot of people, especially Chinese people, will be asking themselves, wouldn't it be just fair to cancel the visa requirements for Chinese citizens traveling to Germany or to the European Union as well? And in general, I would agree. And to be honest, if it was only about Germany, I think this would have been implemented already a long time ago, because Germany in particular has relatively good relations with uh, China. There's a lot of business exchange, there's a lot of educational exchange, a lot of people traveling, a lot of businesses cooperating and stuff like this. So it would definitely give a boost to the economy and bring 
benefits for both sides. But there's not only Germany in the European Union. If you're applying for a visa for Germany, you are not only getting a visa for Germany, you are getting a Schengen visa. Now, the Schengen area consists of 27 members, 27 different countries. If you get the Schengen visa, you can just travel around the European Union, the whole Schengen area, freely. Basically, you can go to any country, not only Germany, but also to Austria, to France, to Czech Republic, basically anywhere in Europe. So, in order to cancel the visa requirement for Chinese citizens traveling to the European Union, you actually need the agreement and confirmation of all 27 Schengen countries, Schengen members. And while I'm not saying this is impossible or super difficult, but it still needs some time, some alignment. Anyways, I think it will be very interesting to see what kind of effect this new regulation will have on international travel and exchange and business on China. If it will really bring a huge improvement or if it will just have little effect. Anyways, what is your bet? What is your opinion on that? Do you think there's going to be a big increase in international exchange to China? Or do you think people will still be hesitant and unwilling to travel to China for tourism and business purposes? You can let me know in the comments below. That's already it for today's update. Of course, as always, I want to thank you for joining in, for watching until the end. Of course, if you like the content, if you think it's interesting, you can support the channel by leaving a like. If you want to see more interesting updates from Germany, from China and the rest of the world, follow my channel. I will be signing off for today. Pongyuman, xia zi jian. See you next time.